Hi boys and girls, we're about to create an Alma Woodsy Thomas inspired um, mosaic. We're going to use paper to create our design. We're going to start off by taking a circle and we're going to glue the circle anywhere you want on your black piece of paper. It could be anywhere as long as it's on the paper. So I'm putting glue on my circle and I'm just going to put it anywhere I want. Once you have that, you're going to start taking pieces of paper that we've already cut, small pieces of paper, and we're going to create color patterns around your circle. You will have scissors, so if you need to cut your, your pieces of paper smaller, you could do that. And I am going to start with a red color, and I am simply going to take my glue stick, tap on my piece of paper, rub it on the glue stick and start creating a mosaic around my circle. I'm going to make sure to get close to my circle. I'm going to be very careful to only use one color at a time so that I have a color pattern building. Notice how I'm going around my circle and I move my paper around just like that. You want it to look just like Alma Woodsy's uh, piece that's in the White House. And it reminded her of the sun. So you could tell how I'm just going around my paper. And I'm going to keep going until I have all of my red go all the way around my circle. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I went all the way around my circle. Now I'm going to do the same thing and this time with green. So I'm going to make sure that I have green squares and you guys could pick any colors you want. It does not have to be the same color as I'm using. You can make it as colorful as you want and we're going to just keep following. The most important thing is that you follow the shape of the circle and that you're carefully going all the way around your circle. So I'm going to keep going with my green and I'll be right back. Alright friends, you can see that I went all the way to the edge of my paper with the green and now I'm going to continue filling all of the rest of the black space and I'm still going to make sure that I'm following the circle. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and show you what it should look like when you are done. Alright guys, so this is the finished picture. Um, you can see how I kept my circle going all the way around, making sure to always keep a little bit of space in between each of my rectangles. So I hope you guys have fun creating your mosaic um, collage, just like Alma Woodsy, and I hope you use really beautiful bright colors.